In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Visual Studio environment to begin programming cross-platform mobile apps for iOS and Android. So the first thing we need to do is open our browser. We're going to go to visualstudio.com. That will bring us uh, to the Visual Studio launch page here. And underneath this Visual Studio IDE section, we're going to click on the, the drop-down arrow. And we're going to select Community 2019. And you'll notice it says it's free for individual developers. So it's a nice way to get started for free, has all of the functionality that we need to get set up. So we'll click on that. And then we're going to save that to our computer. We'll close this box here. Once that's done, we'll open the file and it will run through the setup. All right, so uh, what do we need when this installing Visual Studio dialog comes up? What are the things we need for cross-platform mobile development? Uh, really, the main thing we need here is if we scroll down under mobile and gaming, this mobile development with .NET. It allows us to build cross-platform applications for iOS, Android, or Windows using Xamarin. So that's really all we need. We can click on that and install while downloading. And we'll click no, do not show again. So we're going to give this a few minutes to, to download. Um, and then we'll come back and look at the IDE environment. Now, as you notice, this does take some time. We're downloading almost 2 gigabit of information from the So be patient. Allow it to continue to download. I'm going to uh, uncheck the start after installation. If you want that, you can leave it checked. It will launch straight into Visual Studio once the installation is finished. However, I'm going to do so manually because uh, I want to show you a couple other things. So let's, we'll give this a few more minutes. All right, so we finished. Um, so we can launch Visual Studio directly from here if we've unchecked the launch automatically. Uh, I'm going to close this. We're going to go into our start menu here. We'll click on all applications. And then I'm going to click on V for Visual Studio. It'll take me straight there. And you notice we have this Video Studio installer. So that's there if we want to go back in, make some modifications, install some additional components. Um, if, if you need to, just know that it is there uh, for you. Now the Visual Studio 2019, I'm going to, um, if it's not already pinned to your start menu as mine is, you can right click on it and click pin to start. But again, as you notice, mine is already down there. So I'm going to go ahead and open this now. I'm going to launch Visual Studio. And I'm going to minimize this background browser because it's a little distracting. Now, if you're not signed into Visual Studio, you may need to do so. Uh, I've already done that. I've already, I'm already signed in, so I don't need to worry about this. As you notice here, I have a 30-day license for evaluation purposes. All I need to do is check for an updated license. It'll go out, renew my license for me, and I'm good to go. So I can close that. And then this is where we're able to get started uh, creating a project. Uh, what's really nice is if you have a GitHub repository or if you want to fork a repository, uh, you can clone it. You can check it out here um, right within the getting started. Um, you can open an existing project or solution. You can navigate to where one might be on your computer or create a new project. So we'll create a new project. And then what's really nice here is depending on what language uh, we want to program in, we can choose that here. Uh, we also have platforms, so Android, iOS, tvOS. Um, you can choose the platform you want. And then project type. Um, it could be cloud, 
IoT, mobile. Um, again, you can choose your options. We're going to select mobile here. You notice the very first one on this list is a mobile app Xamarin Forms. It says it's a multi-project template for building apps for iOS and Android with Xamarin and Xamarin Forms. And that's what we want. So we'll select that. There's other options here if you want to create a Xamarin, uh, Xamarin Android app or a Xamarin iOS app. You can target those specifically. But our Xamarin Forms will allow us to target both at the same time. We'll click Next. We'll give it a name, and this is fine. We can name it whatever we want. And then we have a location. You can leave the default, or if you have your own location that you want, where you want to keep your projects, uh, you can choose that as well. We will say Create. And then we're presented with different templates that we can use. Uh, a master detail will have like a slide out menu, uh, like a hamburger menu. Um, or a drawer as it's called in Android. Uh, tabbed pages will have the tabs along the bottom uh, whether iOS or Android. Of course Android gives us the option to have tabs at the top or bottom. Uh, Shell is a new feature. We'll get into that a little bit more in a future uh, video. Um, that's a new template that's provided starting with Xamarin 4.0 so I encourage you to check it out. Get familiar with it. Uh, for this tutorial though, we're just going to create a blank uh, app. Uh, we can target Android, iOS, and depending on the template, we can choose UWP for Windows as well. Um, we will say OK with our blank template. It is creating our project. and then it will launch into our IDE. So some things to notice here on the left hand or on the right hand side you have a solution explorer and underneath it you have your different projects. You have your Android project, you have your iOS here, and then this first one is your shared um, code that will be used by both Android and iOS. We'll close this first page here. It opened up. So our main page is the page that will launch. And it's simply going to say, welcome to Xamarin Forms. It's going to be centered horizontally and centered vertically. Uh, we have some Android emulators here that we can use. So we'll go ahead and spin this up on our Android emulator and take a look at it. If you want, here in our IDE we can come down here, um, we can do view output and it'll show us uh, what's going on here. All right, so our emulator is starting, and it will automatically deploy this app to our emulator. And we can click on the arrow here to look at all apps, and this is just called App 3. So it will pop in up here at the beginning, right after the API demos, and then it will launch. especially with the first time you deploy an app to a device, it does take a while. Um, so again, be patient. All right, and there it is, app three. It's going to launch. It's in debug mode. And it's simply going to come up with the label, Welcome to Xamarin Forms. And it will be centered both horizontally and vertically. And there it is. Uh, so there we have it in our Android uh, emulator. Now we're going to stop this. And we can also um, choose to run it in our iOS simulator. So what we would need for that is to right click on iOS and choose Set as Startup Project. Now, for this to work, 
you will need to have a Mac OS computer to be able to run the this simulator and we'll get into that in a future video as well so you see how simple it is uh, to get started and create your first app both for Android and iOS if you want additional information after the Visual Studio installer is downloaded you have some additional information here on the Visual Studio website but another great place is the Xamarin documentation site so you can go to docs.microsoft.com and it has uh, information about learning Xamarin it has some tutorials uh, a quick start guide so I encourage you to check this out very informative information here additionally two individuals that helped me a lot uh, building apps getting started uh, is Bob Tabor he has a series on channel 9 if you go to channel 9.com uh, do a search for C sharp fundamentals for absolute beginners I will add the link to the show notes at the bottom but this is an excellent course free course for getting started uh, learning C sharp which is what Xamarin forms uses uh, so I encourage you to run through this get familiar with C sharp and additionally on channel 9 there is the Xamarin show by name by a guy named James Montemagno and this is excellent for getting a deeper dive into Xamarin uh, Xamarin forms all the different features and he has a bunch of videos currently 13 pages worth of videos I would encourage you to start with the last page and work your way back forward um, but those are two excellent resources as well for getting started as a cross-platform mobile developer I'll include these links uh, in the show notes below as I mentioned and if you have any questions or comments uh, feel free to add those uh, whether you're watching this on the blog or YouTube add those in the comments section below